Phil Gold was born in Montreal of Polish immigrant parents in 1936. His summers were filled working as a counselor at the Y Urban Camp until mid-afternoons, then at a local brewery from four till midnight as a wash bottle watcher. And on weekends, he sold encyclopedias. At university, physiology first held his interest until Sir Arnold Bergen encouraged him that medicine might be worth the effort. After his residency at Montreal General Hospital, he spent two years completing his PhD in Sam Friedman's lab, a very important starting point in his research career, and a time when his brilliance was becoming evident. It was quite clear that, that Phil was a remarkable person who was going to make remarkable contributions, and he did. It was Dr. Gold's personality and abundant giving spirit that made him sought after for counsel by many. Nobody walks by Dr. Gold's office without being helped in some way. So when I first met, met Dr. Gold, his, um, his office was on the main corridor of the Montreal General Hospital, but like as many people as possible would be walking by. So they eventually got smart and they moved him to the end of a hall at uh, a very, very quiet corridor. So uh, there weren't many people passing by, so he was able to do his day job. Phil Gold is known for his sense of humor uh, and at the same time a very agile mind. The other wonderful thing about Phil is when, when you're speaking with him, as busy as he may be, you have all of his attention. In 1965, Dr. Gold and Dr. Friedman published a seminal paper on their groundbreaking discovery of CEA. At that time, uh, in one of the classic journals of immunology time, the Journal of Experimental Medicine, almost every month, papers that were destined to become classics in the field came out. So you were learning about immunologies evolving, and all of a sudden, this paper comes out. The original paper on CEA by Dr. Gold, Doctors Gold and Friedman uh, was, the f was a real breakthrough in cancer research. As I say, we worked with bowel, uh, usually always for the same individual. Um, the initial experiments were done in rabbits. Uh, this was in 1963 to 65, uh, which was an age ago. Uh, this is, I mean, more has happened in the last 45 years than in the preceding 4,500. Through his work, Dr. Gold is credited for developing the field of human tumor marker biology. A cancer marker is only a cancer marker until we know what it does. And then it becomes a target. Because as long as you have, well, it, just, it's, it, it tells us diagnostically, prognostically, recurrence, et cetera, et cetera. But what do you really want the molecule for? You know, HER2. Uh, in breast cancer was a marker. But now that you have Herceptin, HER2 is a target, and you can block it. A constant throughout Dr. Gold's career has been his passion for teaching and caring deeply about his students and residents. That's been the one constant in my life, whether it's been the lab or the clinic or the administration of, etc. The one thing I've never given up is teaching. He was, it was always his joy to do this, and in the process, he was actually building McGill's University Faculty of Medicine. Dr. Gold has been a driving force for the McGill Cancer Center evolving to a world-class facility since its establishment in 1974. Dr. Gold's passion, caring, and leadership in the fundraising arena has raised extraordinary sums of money for the medical community. Whenever there's a donor interested in supporting the university or the hospital, they always ask Phil to help. And Phil has been tireless in that. And he's, uh, because of his efforts, been a lot of chairs at the university raised in support of the Faculty of Medicine. With all the achievements and accolades, Dr. Gold shines the light on a different place to explain what brings him the most satisfaction. It's a wonderful word in Yiddish, which is hard to translate into anything else. It's nachas, which is pride and joy in your offspring. But those offspring can be biological, and I'm very proud of those three, or academic. There's a lot more of them. But when they succeed, it's nachas. A distinguished researcher, caring physician, humanitarian, gifted teacher and inspirational leader, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Phil Gold.